Welcome back to the Real Heroes channel. I'm Corey, and today we're going to take a look at five key takeaways from the new trailer for the Loki series coming to Disney+. Plus. If you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you never miss another video, and while you're here, like this one. Let's dive right in. So, first things first, there's a scene in here where Loki has a prison-style outfit on from the TVA, which is the Time Variance Authority. The back of that prison outfit says the word Variant on it. This means that there could be more than one Loki. What does that mean? That means we might be opening up the door for Kid Loki, Lady Loki, maybe a Baby Loki, Old Man Loki. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. That also segues into our second point. Uh, a lot of folks on the internet have been suspecting that there's this one shot in the trailer where Loki is talking to a lady with short blonde hair, uh, and they all think it's Natasha Romanoff uh, from The Avengers. Uh, we don't think that's the case. Chances are, it's probably the character being played by Sofia DiMartino, uh, who has been rumored to play Lady Loki. So, when you see that, come back to the Real Heroes channel, drop us a comment, and let us know we were right. Third, what's very, very exciting, uh, Gugu Mbatha Ra is playing a character called Judge Renslayer. Uh, she oversees Loki's court hearing when he first arrives at the TVA. Now, you're hearing that name, that could be a callback to Ravana Renslayer, which is a love interest of Kang the Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror is a big player in the future of the MCU, already been cast to be played by Jonathan Majors from Lovecraft Country fame. Uh, so this could be planting the seeds. Heck, we might even see Kang show up in this series, which is insanely exciting. All right, number four. There's a diagram in this trailer. It looks like it's on an old 80s screen, uh, but it's the flow of time and reality. And it's all in one steady branch. But then they show us after Loki steals the Tesseract in Avengers Endgame, that that branches off into a bunch of different realities. Very similar to what the Ancient One showed Bruce Banner during the Battle of New York when the Avengers went back during the time heist. So it kind of seems like one of Loki's tasks in this series is gonna be fixing the flow of time and reality, which might explain why he goes back and you see him in all these different time periods with different haircuts and whatnot. But very cool, gives us a little hint as to the plot of the show. In addition to that, Michael Waldron is the executive producer and head writer for the Loki series. He's done some work on a show you may have heard of called Rick and Morty. It's pretty popular and it handles the concept of time and space jumping quite a bit. Uh, really important though, he's also a writer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So you can expect that these two properties will probably tie into each other. Also with WandaVision, uh, you know, we got that end credit stinger where Wanda is going through and doing some astral projections. So I think these three series will all collide together in that film uh, and make something really special. And lastly, we would be remiss if we didn't say it, <laughs> number five, uh, there is a shot here where Owen Wilson's character, Mobius M. Mobius, is dragging Loki into a room in the TVA, and in the background, chilling out in a tracksuit without changing their appearance at all, is a scroll. This is the second time we've seen a scroll so far in the Disney Plus era. Um, there was one in the end credit stinger of WandaVision uh, with uh, Monica Rambeau, uh, and now we have one that we don't know if he's a prisoner of the TVA or if he's an employee, um, but he's not trying to hide his appearance in any way, shape, or form. He is just a scroll. He's out there in the open doing his thing. Very cool, setting up those seeds for the Secret Invasion series. And that's gonna do it. Five things from the Loki trailer that you may not have noticed, but are very, very important and kind of give us a glimpse as to where this show might go and the crazy things that it might do. So uh, we'd love to hear a comment from you guys. Uh, drop one below if you spotted some of those things, if you're excited about them and where you think that this series might tie into the greater MCU. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead, subscribe, turn on those notifications so that way you don't miss any of our future content. Uh, we've got Falcon and Winter Soldier reviews, Easter egg videos, theories. Uh, we're reviewing Invincible on Amazon Prime. Just tons of great stuff. It's a great time to be a nerd. So uh, definitely make sure to look out for those videos in the future. Until next time, see you in the next video.